Are you frustrated with your glutes not growing no matter how hard you work them? Do you find yourself constantly scrolling through Instagram, wondering how those fitness models achieve their glute gains? If you're frustrated with the lack of progress in your glute gains, let me tell you, you are not alone. Many people struggle to achieve the glute growth they desire, despite incorporating exercises and workouts that are supposed to target the glute. I will also like to emphasize that genetics can play a significant role in building bigger glutes. While training and nutrition are critical factors, factors in developing the glutes, genetics can influence how much muscle someone can build in this area. The size and shape of someone's glutes are largely determined by their skeletal structure, which is determined by genetics. For example, some people may have a wider hip structure, which can make it easier to develop a rounder, fuller looking butt. Others may have a narrower hip structure, which can make it more challenging to build significant size in this area. But don't worry, genetics can play a role in building bigger glutes. But they are not the only determined factor. With consistent effort, proper training, and a balanced nutrition plan, anyone can build a stronger and more sculpted butt. So in this video, we're going to discuss the top 5 reasons why your glutes may not be growing as you would like, and provide you with actionable tips to overcome these obstacles. So if you're ready to take your glute gains to the next level, let's get started. 1. Lack of progressive overload. Progressive overload is a principle of strength training that involves gradually increasing the stress placed on your muscles over time. By consistently challenging your muscles with heavier weights or more reps, you force them to adapt and grow stronger. This principle is essential for building muscle including the glutes. Without progressive overload, your glutes won't receive enough stimulus to grow. If you continue to do the same exercises with the same weight and reps over and over again, your glutes will adapt to the stimulus and stop growing. This is because your muscles need to be challenged in order to grow, and if they are not being challenged, they won't grow. To overcome a lack of progressive overload and stimulate good growth, you need to challenge your muscles with progressively heavier weights or more reps over time. For example, let's say you start performing hip thrust with a moderate weight for 10 reps for 3 sets. After a few weeks, your glutes have adapted to the exercise and are no longer being challenged. To continue making progress, you need to increase the weight, reps or sets. You could increase the weight by 5-10%, to 10 increase the reps to 12 or add an extra set to the workout. This increase in weight, reps or sets is an example of progressive overload, as you are gradually increasing the stress on your glutes to continue making gains in strength and muscle mass. 2. Not targeting the glutes effectively The second reason why your glutes may not be growing as you would like is because you may not be targeting them effectively during your workouts. This is because not all exercises are created equal when it comes to glute activation. Research has shown that certain exercises are more effective than others for activating the glutes. The barbell hip thrust and the glute bridge were among the most effective exercises for activating the gluteus maximus. These exercises are effective because they involve hip extension, which is the primary function of the glutes. On the other hand, exercises like squats and lunges may not be as effective at targeting the glutes because they are compound exercises, which means they involve multiple muscles, including the quadriceps and hamstrings. While these exercises are still important for overall lower body strength, may not be enough to effectively target the glutes. To effectively target the glutes, it's important to incorporate exercises that isolate the glutes and involve hip extension. In addition to the hip thrust and glute bridge, other effective exercises for targeting the glutes include cable kickbacks, single leg deadlifts, and donkey kicks. 3. Poor form. The third reason why your glutes may not be growing is due to poor form during exercises. Poor form can prevent your glutes from activating effectively during exercises, which can limit their growth potential. Proper form during exercises involves maintaining a neutral spine, keeping your core engaged, and using the correct range of motion. For example, during a hip thrust or a glute bridge, proper form involves keeping your feet flat on the ground, squeezing your glutes at the top of the movement, and maintaining a neutral spine throughout the exercise. Research has shown that poor form can lead to compensation in other muscles and reduce the activation of the glutes. To ensure that you're using proper form during exercises and effectively targeting the glutes, it's important to seek the guidance of a qualified fitness professional, watch tutorial videos, and perform exercises in front of a mirror or you can also film yourself performing exercises to review your form and make any necessary adjustments. 
for lack of consistency. The fourth reason why your glutes may not be growing is due to a lack of consistency in your workout routine. Building muscle requires a consistent and challenging stimulus over time, which means that you need to consistently target your glutes with resistance training exercises and progressively overload them to continue to see growth. Inconsistent workout routine can prevent your muscles from receiving the consistent stimulus they need to grow. For example, if you're only targeting your glutes, once a week or every other week, you may not be providing your glutes with enough stimulus to grow. To overcome a lack of consistency in your workout routine, it's important to create a consistent workout schedule that targets your glutes with progressive overload and rest days. Let me give you some examples on how you can stay consistent going to the gym. You can create a schedule, find a workout body, set achievable goals, you can celebrate your progress and focus on the benefits. Remember why you start your fitness journey and focus on the positive benefits, such as improved health, increased energy, and greater self-confidence. 5. Not enough recovery time The fifth reason why your glutes may not be growing is due to not allowing recovery time between workouts. Rest and recovery are crucial for muscle growth because they allow your muscles to repair and rebuild after exercise. During the recovery process, your body rebuilds muscle tissue that has been damaged during exercise, which leads to muscle hypertrophy and growth. If you're not allowing enough recovery time between workouts, your muscles may not have enough time to repair and rebuild, which can limit their growth potential. This can be particularly true for the glutes, as they are a large muscle group that requires sufficient rest and recovery to grow. To ensure that you're allowing enough recovery time between workouts and maximizing glute growth, it's important to incorporate rest days in your workout routine and prioritize getting enough sleep each night. In addition, you can incorporate foam rolling or stretching into your routine to improve recovery and reduce soreness. So that is it, I hope you guys learned something new and feel inspired to take your glute gains to the next level. Remember, growing your glutes takes time, patience and consistency, but with the right mindset and approach, you can achieve the results you've been working so hard for. So don't give up, keep pushing yourself and stay focused on your goals. And don't forget to share this video with your friends or workout buddies who may be struggling to grow their glutes too. Let's help each other reach our fitness goals and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!